Hey YouTube, it's Sidekicker Carrie, and today I'm playing Team Deathmatch on the map Overlord with the USR with extended mags. I'm not going to be talking a whole lot about the gameplay, but the reason I did decide to use this gameplay is because I'm generally not a very good sniper and I struggle with it a lot. But I thought I did alright in this game, and I do go positive by a few kills, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. I want to apologize ahead of time for the quality of this video. It should still be HD, but it won't be as high quality of a video as my videos generally are. And the reason for that is because for some reason the Elgato corrupted the original video file, so I had to rip this game directly off of my live stream. So since I did screen cap it, I know I lost some of the quality. And if you guys do want to follow my live stream, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash iSidekick. And if you follow my Twitter at iSidekick, I status update every time I get ready to live stream. My live streams for now are just gameplays. There's no face cam and there's no commentary because this computer can barely handle anything that I need it to do. So all the programs I use require 4 gigs of RAM and they all suggest 8 and this computer has 4 gigs, but only 2.87 gigs of usable RAM, so it pretty much hates me all the time, and it never wants to do anything. And I'm actually an engineering student, and this computer can barely run Autodesk, so hopefully pretty soon I'll be getting a new computer for a class. And whenever that happens, it should definitely help me improve the quality of my videos and not take 6 hours to render a video, which would be pretty nice. So today what I want to talk about is Call of Duty and why I like it, why I don't like it, and just the game in general and how I got into the game. So first when you start back with the first Call of Duty that I ever played, which was COD 4, and unfortunately I didn't really get to play it online very much because I didn't have Xbox Live during this time, but from what I've heard from everybody else it was the best Call of Duty to date for online play. My favorite Call of Duty is definitely Modern Warfare 2, and I really think Modern Warfare 2 really helped launch Call of Duty as a, a series that got as big as it is. But still, I never actually got to play Call of Duty 4, so Modern Warfare 2 is what got me into Call of Duty. Even when I first got Modern Warfare 2, I still didn't have Xbox Live, so I spent a lot of time playing Spec Ops, which I thoroughly enjoyed Spec Ops, but I guess you kind of have to when you don't have multiplayer. I actually got all the stars on it, and I beat all the Infinity War times, and... Modern Warfare 2 is actually the first game that I got all 1000 gamer score on because I'm a little bit of an achievement hunter. I'm not nearly as bad as I used to be when I didn't have the internet, but I loved trying to complete games as much as I possibly can. So when I did finally get to play online, I know I wasn't as good of a player as I am now because I've had a lot more experience, but I just thoroughly enjoyed the game. So after a few months of playing that, then Black Ops had come out. And I did get Black Ops probably a few weeks after it came out, but I really didn't care for Black Ops very much. And I know a lot of people would disagree with me, but the reason I didn't like Black Ops is because I'm just generally more into futuristic and more modern shooter games. I didn't like how it was set in the Cold War era. I don't really like World War II era games. I didn't like World at War for that reason. I don't know. I just personally like more newer type games. So I only really played Black Ops whenever a friend would get online and ask me to play with them. I mean, I didn't hate the game, but I just didn't like it as much as Modern Warfare 2. So whenever I didn't have any friends online playing, I spent a lot of time still playing Modern Warfare 2 all throughout Black Ops Prime. Then when I saw that Modern Warfare 3 was coming out, I was so totally stoked because I loved Modern Warfare 2 so much I thought, you know, awesome, I'm gonna love this game. It was actually the first Call of Duty that I ever pre-ordered. And I really did want to go to the midnight launch, but I couldn't just because I had class really early the next morning. But I picked it up on my way home, I put it in, and the first thing I played I think was Spec Ops, because I liked Spec Ops so much in the second one. But I didn't think they were quite as good, and then I played the survival mode, which I didn't really care for at all. And by the time I had got to multiplayer, the game had been out for probably two or three weeks, and I was really behind. And I just didn't like it. I don't really know why I didn't like it. It just, I guess it didn't feel like Modern Warfare 2 to me, which I was expecting it to. And I thought they changed too much. I didn't really like the creative class system. I think the only thing I did really like about it is the fact that they made the nuke, or the Moab, where you were just automatically always carrying it. Because in Modern Warfare 2, if I would have carried the nuke, I think I would have only gotten like 3 or 4 because I never really got 25 plus skill streaks. But I wasn't going to carry the nuke when I knew I didn't get streaks that high, but the couple times I did, it kind of sucked that I couldn't actually get a nuke because I wasn't carrying it. So I do think that's pretty cool, but overall, I just didn't really care for Modern Warfare 3. And all my friends that I had met in Modern Warfare 2, they all felt the same as me, so the game pretty much just sat in my game stack and it never really got played. 
and so I play a lot of Modern Warfare 2 still. So then the next game that came out was Black Ops 2, and when I saw that it was Black Ops 2, there was no way I was even going to get the game because I just didn't care for Black Ops 1 enough. But then they released the multiplayer gameplay and I realized, hey, this game's actually in the future and it looks pretty cool. So I actually ended up pre-ordering that one and it was the first Call of Duty that I had gotten at a midnight launch. And as soon as I got home, I went right to multiplayer. I didn't even play the campaign this time. I didn't want to get behind and... I actually did really good in my first game, and overall I really enjoyed the game. I would definitely say that it's probably my second favorite Call of Duty, and I would put it right up there with Modern Warfare 2 as being a favorite. It's definitely not better than Modern Warfare 2 in my opinion, but I really did like Black Ops 2 a lot. So then obviously came out Ghost, and it's been out for, I guess, close to a month now, and I really am enjoying the game now. But when it first came out, I honestly didn't like this game at all. It was one of the first Call of Duties that I really had considered trading in to get 30 bucks back because I thought I totally wasted 60 bucks on this game. In my opinion, it's still not that great of a Call of Duty compared to the ones that I really like. But I'm trying to figure out how to play it and learn how to play it in a way that I can still do good and still have fun. Because I think that the way I like to play Call of Duty, at least ever since I started playing Black Ops 2, is more of like a rushing style. And this game, for me, I just really can't figure out a way to rush and do fairly well. And I think a lot of the reason why that is is because submachine guns, to me, just don't do very efficient in this game. And I pretty much always have to either run assault rifles or snipers. I didn't really try it any other things. I'm, I've never been a shoddy, and I don't really care to start doing that. I don't really care for light machine guns that much, so that's how I like to play is rush. But I feel like for the way I've been playing, I'm doing okay, and I, I still do have fun. Which I think is really important because I read a lot of YouTube comments on people who say that the only way to, you know, do good in this game is to camp, which is pretty true. That is the best way to do good in this game, but it's not fun to camp. And people will say, yeah, I don't have fun camping, but, you know, at least I'm doing good and at least my KD's positive. And I don't really understand that mentality because if you're not having fun, then why even play the game? Why do you just want to play the game to get a good KD? My KD is positive by a little bit, and I'm happy that it is. As long as it's over 1, I'm happy. Even if it's 1.01, I'm going to be a happy player because I'm at least killing more people than I'm dying, and I'm still having fun at it. Which brings me to game modes and the game modes that I like and that I don't like in this game. So I've always liked Team Deathmatch because that's, you know, a pretty standard game mode. And Black Ops 2 Kill Confirmed was probably my favorite game mode because I would just sweep up all the players and get their tags and it would give me so many points, I'd get all my kill streaks. But Domination has recently become one of my favorite game modes. But every time I play Domination in this game, people aren't playing the objective, which brings me to my next concern is people who don't play the objective and why I can't stand those types of people. Every time I play Domination in this game, I swear as soon as I try to go secure a flag, there's someone camping right next to it and when they hear losing B, they just pop out and kill me. I mean, that's good defense, so I don't really have a problem with that, but it really bothers me when people don't try to be on the offensive side. You are supposed to try to secure flags in Domination, and it really bothers me when I see a teammate just camping on a flag, and they don't ever try to do offense. And it really makes me think that those types of people just aren't good at the game, so they're just gonna try to like soak up the Domination lobby, because it is a lot easier to get kills when you're trying to kill the people that are actually playing the objective, rather than to go in team deathmatch where there is no objective besides kill people so it would be definitely easier to get on streaks and domination but i definitely think it's unsporting conduct and i definitely think it hurts your team because i've lost numerous games of when i've been trying to be offensive and secure tons of flags but other people have just been trying to go for kills and we've lost because you get more points and you win the game by securing the flags so that's what i think about this call of duty and call of duty in general I hope you guys liked the video, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I think my next topic will be how I got into gaming. So thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.